Hi, I'm Ramon Martin and welcome to Tome's Resort 17 collection on Ord. I think I was always interested in fashion. It was always something really exciting for me as a child and art school and all those sorts of things. So it was just like another platform of, of creative expression and um, really cemented all of that. In my college years when I met people that I still remain friends with and one particular person, Ryan Lobo, who I now have a label with. It's been close to 20 years that we've been friends and working together on certain projects in the past and then doing separate things. Me with a design background and working in Europe and America and Ryan with a style background working in like Australia, Asia and around the globe. So between us we, we've done so many things in the fashion industry that when we came together to start Tome it just it made so much sense you know our collective experience really informs everything that we do. We've changed the way that we create clothes to manage that very very fast paced very, very demanding calendar of like more collections every year. We do look to a sustainable practice in order to counter that. With Tome, it's much more about storytelling. It's much more about building on what we've already created. So our design process just evolves season after season and we just keep on building on the things that we love and exploring the things that we love. I think that's one of the great things about our working relationship. There's definitely like a, a flesh and blood woman that inspires every season and there are creative women as well. So we also look to, to their work and what they've created and how they speak to the world. That, that really inspires us. The woman for this season, uh, we discovered her on a trip. We went to the Venice Biennale and it's an American artist, Patricia Cronin, uh -huh. who had an installation called Shrine for Girls. And it was so beautiful and so moving. Three individual shrines of uh, soft sculpture made out of women's clothing with uh, references to Nigeria, India and uh, Ireland. When we met Patricia Cronin, who we've connected with and become friends with. So it really sort of came a lot. You know, she's, she's just such a wonderful, inspiring, energetic, joyous woman. She has very, very heavy political work coming from a really, really inspirational light woman. To speak face to face with mm. who's inspiring you, I mean, that adds a whole another dimension to the creative process. Oh, it completely does. We don't really look to the past and we're not, our heads are not stuck too far in the future. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's nice to have a real flesh and blood connection in a contemporary environment. Well, tell us how that inspiration now transformed into the new resort collection. Well, we definitely explored a lot of colour and texture for the season. We have um, really incredible jacquards that we've worked on um, coming from Italy and France and really working with the mills themselves to create these unique pieces. So this is a pretty good example of what you're talking about. Yeah, it? and just like taking, so all the colours, the colour stories that you can see in there are actually taken from um, Patricia's work itself um, and into the jacquards as well. Um, and some of the, the brighter prints that I think are just behind me. So there's definitely a sense of uh, fun, a sense of softness as well, mixing in, you know, like the soft crepes and the denims and some of the uh, cashmere knitwear as well. All the denim this season is organic. Denim coming from a partner that we met through the Copenhagen uh, Fashion Summit, so Isco, who works on um, uh, recycled and organic cottons. And then all of our cashmere sweaters are 100% uh, recycled cashmere. There's three stories to Shrine for Girls, and so we adopted those colors. There was a color palette that was very um, sober, creams, whites, grays. And then we moved into the color for the Indian reference. So we have the fuchsia and the red and the, you know, the emerald green and all those colors coming through. Then moving to the Nigerian reference where you have the tweeds and the denims and things like that speak to like this earthier right. kind of vibe. I think we look at fabrics less as a seasonal thing and more as a, like, how often can I wear it? How much use can I get out of it? So this seasonality that we've all been a slave to is starting to disappear? People don't care what it's called? I don't know if it's starting to disappear, but I think, you know, we think of our customer as someone who, uh, you know, she travels a lot, you know, she could be anywhere in the world. So for us, it's, it's about being sensitive to all those sorts of things and making sure that above all else, outside of the season, that the the product is something that our customer will love. Fantastic. Well, it's a beautiful question. Congratulations. Thank you.